and I fought hard and lost that battle. So, I, it should not have happened. So I am I am a former NFL player, and after a hard loss, it's easy to wake up and point to the other side. Oftentimes, I realized the better thing to do was to look in the mirror. Amber Heard's latest interview with NBC has gone viral for all the wrong reasons. People are dissecting her statements one by one, even if the actress did not have any ill will while giving the interview. It's rumored that her team of attorneys now want to give up on her as their client and not follow up on the appeal because of the contradictory statements she made in the interview. So why might her legal team be annoyed with her? How does it relate to the appeal? Keep watching to find out. In the recent interview by Amber, there was one single statement that stood out more than the others for her legal team. She claimed that the op-ed piece she wrote in 2018 was not about Johnny once again. She wrote it after her divorce from him. The media assumed it was about Johnny and the actress never denied it. In court, she claimed it was not about him and then later said under oath that it was about him. The latest interviews throw another contradiction into the mix and all these statements make it a lot harder for her legal team to make a case for a successful appeal. Insider sources report that they are on the verge of giving up. You might be wondering why this single statement has a much higher legal implication than all the other more spicier claims she made in the interview. This is because the very subject matter of the Depp versus her defamation trial was the op-ed she wrote in the Washington Post. One of the main questions that the jurors had to deliberate on was whether Amber wrote the op-ed about Johnny or not, since her did not mention him directly by name. This was one of the key factors of the trial's verdict, which the appeal will try to overthrow. The more Amber speaks out about the op-ed, the more confusing it becomes for both the judge and her legal team to frame as an appeal. Amber sat down with Savannah Guthrie on NBC's Today, the previews of which aired on June 15th. In the interview, Heard answered many questions about the trial. Savannah asks her why she wrote the op-ed in 2018 when she had seemingly moved on from her divorce with Johnny back in 2016. Heard replied that she wrote it because it was not about the actor or the relationship that the two had. Instead, she claimed it was about her loaning her voice to a bigger cultural conversation that we were having at the time. The actress was alluding to the hashtag MeToo movement, which was extremely well known in 2018, and gave a platform for survivors of domestic and sexual violence to speak up. The jurors themselves had declared that Amber indeed wrote the op-ed about Johnny, hence her statement directly goes against the jurors. Meanwhile in court, in her opening testimony, she was asked by Elaine Bredehoft whether she wrote the op-ed in question about the actor. She claimed under oath that it was not about him, but about how she escaped her marriage and her personal experiences. Later in her cross-examination by Camille Vasquez, she was asked why she thought many would support Depp during the trial. The actor said, quote, I know how many people will come out and say whatever for him. That's his power. That's why I wrote the op-ed. This was a clear admission that she wrote the op-ed to speak about him, which would have helped the jury make a decision. Now again, she has contradicted the statement she gave under oath, which might open up discussions of perjury. This has put severe pressure on her legal team. People are not happy with this and many other statements she made in the interview. One person wrote, not a hint of sincerity in her face. Can't believe she ever passed as an actress, referring to her sully expression throughout the interview. Another wrote, NBC simply did this for viewership. Now I'm pretty sure this appeal will get denied unless she has new evidence and further added, if I was her lawyer, I would advise her to step down and work out a deal parlay with Johnny, then make an apology, then work on PR. Everyone can see the kind of stress it would put on her legal team if they proceed with the appeal. Some also believe that Savannah Guthrie might be asking such questions about the op-ed in an effort to make the appeal more difficult. One person wrote, Guthrie has a legal background and she's pointing out major issues in AH's story. Whatever AH intended for this interview to be, I don't think it's panning out. She is getting exposed again. The judge might also be reconsidering the appeal, as she made more claims in the interview that the judge and the jury were influenced by social media and paid witnesses. Do you think Team Heard will help her proceed further with the appeal after such confusion? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe to keep in touch with our latest uploads. See you in the next video.